Welcome to this BR185.2. electric locomotive in DB traffic red livery. During this brief introduction we will go through the start and stop procedures. Climb aboard to get started. The battery will power up the control desk and allow you to interact with it. This locomotive draws power from the overhead electrical supply via a contact arm mounted on the roof. For this to work, we'll need to set up and then raise the pantograph. A lot of your time. To get the locomotive up and running, set the master switch. Headlights are important in letting others around know that a locomotive is operational. We now need to wait a moment and let the brake system charge. It'll take a minute or two. The locomotive is now ready to be energized. This is controlled by the main circuit breaker. When stopped for longer periods of time or when leaving the cab, a parking brake is engaged. We'll need to ensure this is released in order to get moving. Use the master switch to determine the direction of travel. The train brake is used for normal line operations. Due to the size and weight of this train, small amounts of traction should be used to overcome initial friction and prevent overpowering the electrical systems. Now we're rolling, we can apply more power and focus can be diverted towards achieving the desired speed. Coasting is a method used to easily move without engaging power. On a flat gradient, this is great for maintaining a speed limit.
To bring this freight train to a safe stop, only a small amount of braking force is required. Practice and experience will teach you how much force you'll need. Good work. That concludes all of the basics of the